Hi vlog, today is June 21st, it's a Monday. Like, that's just never fun. Mondays are just, I don't know, Mondays just seem to come way too soon. And Mondays leave me, yeah, <sighs> forgive this, I've done nothing today besides, you know, wake up and put a sweatshirt on because it's actually freezing in my house. Anybody else have to deal with that with their families? Like, have to have the central air on and it's a freezer in your house and when you walk outside it's 80, 90 degrees? Yeah. Um, I got some sinus stuff going on. Just not feeling the best today, so pretty low key as far as that goes. Um, Case is taking a nap right now. The little guy I babysat for. So, um, this weekend was Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the late Father's Day to all the daddies out there. Um, we went and bummed around and went shopping and did some, some stuff and went out to eat for Father's Day. Um, I ended up finding Rob a bunch of random happy Father's Day gifts and I got to go to a couple different Goodwills. So again... I'm going to share you guys, with you guys what I all found, so let's go do that because I'm really having an issue with, like, having to stare at myself in this camera. Okay, you guys, so first, this is a huge, yeah, mm-hmm, okay, so I have a huge bag of Goodwill finds. Um, we also found this. Rob usually only shoots on the cork boards with the metal-tipped um, darts and whatnot, so we found this at Goodwill, and it barely looks like it's been used, like... Maybe, maybe a little bit. I can't even tell, but I mean, this is pretty heavy duty. Um, anyone that uses the steel tip darts or whatever they're called. We did find it for $5.99 though, you guys, and I'm super excited. He wasn't even going to get it, and I was like, um, yes, yes you are, because hello, we can play with this out in the garage, you know, we can hang it up outside for when we're having, you know, um, fires and, you know, side listening. Why do I keep saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, that's annoying, you know? Anyways, we have plans for that and I'm super glad that we found it. Um, he did leave it out here because I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, there are some other things that I've already taken out of this bag, so we'll just chalk that up to a loss. Um, one of the things I found that I was super excited about I don't know why I'm so not a pink person, but apparently, apparently I am. Um, so I found this. This is a, it says Huntworth on the side, and then it just says it's like, um, and then GM from Neville's, and you guys, check it out though. It's so cool. It's Oak Tree Pink Camo. And it's got long arms. And it's not super thick, but it's just warm enough that it would be great to throw over something. And I love the way it looks. It's so freaking comfy. And I ended up paying $3.99 for this. So I was stoked to find that. Um, when you're out, like, it isn't a large, just so you guys know. Um, when you're out walking and things, like, yeah, I'm telling you telling you that'll be perfect to throw on um I have like goodwill bags inside of goodwill bags here I did find this for little miss Mia um that I babysat for it was a dollar 99 and look at it it is so cute you guys it's just purple I love the colors there's Olaf on the front um and then the little drawers pull out this door opens and it's just a little jewelry box um, but I thought that it would be so cute for her room, so I had to pick that up because <laughs> it's adorable. And I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I have, like, this severe addiction. Well, I have, a, I have a severe addiction to a lot of things, you know, be it pens, craft paper, projects, journals, markers. Um, yeah, you name it, I got one. Purses and backpacks. Okay, like I'm, I just, man, I like carrying stuff around. I like having backpacks to use. So I found this one from Jansport. 
It's got so many zipper pockets too. Like here's a zipper pocket, here's a zipper pocket, here's a zipper pocket, here's a zipper pocket, and then back here is a zipper pocket. So this can be pretty beefy and the reason I had to get it is the color. I My favorite colors in the world are like a tealish and a purple and it just, it screamed my name. So it was $5.99. I did pay $5.99, but I ain't mad about it because I love, love, love that freaking bag. Um, I did find these. So these are a size 11. I didn't have any plain, just black flip-flops. And they're from Maurice's for $1.99, you guys. And they got these little gems on the front. So I'm not really like big into that but when you put them on you can't even really tell um and they're really really soft and I don't know they just they worked for me and for a dollar 99 I was just like uh-huh size 11s a dollar 99 you can't go wrong they're freaking from Maurice's I also found this I haven't tried on so I couldn't tell you if I'm gonna like this or not like it but it's it's got a me vibe so if it does fit right um, I'll be, I'll be excited. So this is just another swimming suit top. The only thing I don't like is that it just ties. Ugh, I don't know about that part because I just, I don't like that. I don't feel like that's very, you know what I mean? I don't know, but we'll see. It does have like a little bit of a tiny little pad in here for just some, um, boobage protection, but I thought it was really cute. I like the ruffles around this part. And where it comes and kind of goes in under the boobs and then hangs. So I'm hoping this torso part will be long enough. You guys know I'm a weirdo when it comes to that. I like them really long. So this isn't an 18 and it Joe, should help if I actually vlog it. It was an 18 and it was $5.99. Like I said, I always like to size up on anything like this just because um, that way I don't, I feel like it might be long enough hate it though when they have these pads in there and they flip. Do you see this? Who else has a wonderful boob pet peeve when it comes to that? Seriously. Why does this? Okay, I'll mess with that later because that's going to irritate the crap out of me. But I do like that there's like that white mesh underneath it so it's not see-through but it looks really cute. Um, I did score on some Rue 21 shorts. They're really freaking cute. You guys check these out. They're so cute. Um, there are 14s, I believe, in size. I'll double check again, but I love when they have, like, this kind of, like, crinkled, you know, worn-looking part because it, it, it hides anything that you might have in the fupa area. Um, and it's just got these little, like, fake pocket slits. They're not even real pockets, but it's just there for, fun, like, decoration. So these were $4.99, and they were a size 14, but they're so cute. Like... Super, super, super cute. I was so happy I found those. Um, more bags crinkle in. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle in. Okay. I did find these. I did not try them on. Um, but I like having bikini bottoms only because that way I can wear them under shorts or whatever. If I'm, you know, I would never rock a bikini. I just don't have that. I don't have that in me, even though I do believe that you should. Um, this is an XXL. So, like I said, I didn't try these on. Hi, Zo. But they are from Old Navy with the freaking original tags. So, it says it's a 2X and it was $3.99. And here, excuse your butt, please. Um, it just shows Old Navy. I'm thinking these are probably going to be too big. Um, but they were brand new and... Like I said, even if I, whoa, baby, careful. Miss Thang over here almost lost a life. Um, <laughs> so you're going to fall. Get down. Get down. So anyway, I thought they were cute. We'll see how they fit. I watch a girl, and she says if you don't like the front and it's too high cut, she always says turn them around and wear them backwards, as weird as it sounds. I don't know. I'm, I might be down to try that. Does anybody else do that? Is that just a weird thing? I don't know. Um, you're not going in the bags right now. You can play in the bag later. 
I did find this. Um, I love anything tie-dyed or like hippie kind of vintage-y. Um, so this is a large and it was $3.99. Does it even say? It does. Um, from Advanced Apparels. So look at how cute it is. It's kind of just got like this ring neck type deal. But then look. Oh, it's so pretty. Like so, so, so love this. Love, 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 love this outfit outfit this top I should say this would be cute to wear something over it or just rock it like that Zoe you're in the way you don't care I'm aware you don't care I'm aware you don't care you just want to play you want to play do you guys cats do this like everyone's like oh my god Zoe bites you like look at my hand no like she just like holds on she never hurts me she just wants to play she just wants to play attack cat attack cat She's in attack cat mode. Attack cat mode. Get your feet. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm serious. I just I can't concentrate here. No, you can't have them. No. You can't have them. All right. Speaking of shorts, these were $3.99 in a size 14. Um, it says it's a large 1214. And these are free country. I have gotten a pair of these before. They have the built-in bottoms. What in the... Zoe, what did you do? What was that noise? Oh, you stepped on the poop book button. That's the potty button. <laughs> That's Case's book. <laughs> um, I was like, what in the heck is that? <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, these are really cute. You can rock these as swim trunks, obviously, um, or just running shorts. So the back of these, you guys, look at these. They got little booty pockets. How cute. I don't know. I just really like these. Um, Mama got paid, and I decided when you can find all this kind of stuff at Goodwill, you know what? Go for it. Go for it. So you guys... This looked huge, okay? This is always why you have to try stuff on. This looked super huge hanging there, but it was basically what I've been searching for all summer for a top. When I lay out in the sun or when I'm with, like, family or whatever, I like having tops that don't have the straps so that I can, like, sit out and get a tan, you know, and not have to worry about, like, tan lines up here. But when you go somewhere... And you're, say you're going to a hotel, you're going out swimming, whatever, and, you know, pool parties. I want something with a little more coverage to hold me up, for one. This has got awesome pads. I mean, it, they're not thick, but they're sewn in. And guess what? These babies aren't going to twist and turn like that suit did. The straps are nice. They really hold you up. They have the adjustable um, bands on them so you can make them, you know, longer or shorter. And then it has a little tie here, and it opens up, and it's got this shirt underneath it. And look at this. Look at the ratio of how long this torso part is. This is what I've been talking about, you guys. This is what, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been on the hunt for in the back. It just looks like a tank top. So I was super, super happy to find this. This was $5.99. And the size was a 2X. So I was like, in a swimsuit, it's probably not going to fit. <clears throat> but when I tried it on, you guys, this is so freaking cute. I would wear this with like, I actually had it on in the dressing room with these Rue 21 shorts. I would wear that. I would wear that as an outfit. Not just this to the pool. I would wear that like as just a going out shirt. I don't even care. Judge me all you will. So, I'm not going to lie, this week it was purple tags. I didn't find many purple tags. <laughs> um, but I did find this. So, this is Simply Vera, and it's in a large from Vera Wang Collection. And this is indeed a purple tag for $5.99. So, I did get this um, half off. I really wish... I See, I should have set up my my tripod. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I really like that little detail in the front right there. And then it's nice and long and it has like just this little white that goes to black um, bottom part. But I like these colors. To me, this doesn't look... 
I don't know. When you have it on, it still looks kind of young and fresh. It doesn't look, excuse my language here when I say old lady-esque. Um, I don't usually do too much with the floral patterns, but I really, really liked this. And it's like a light, light color with purple. Throw a black shirt over the top of it or something. Good to go. Then, purple tag, I found this in a 2X and it's $3.99. Again, I can't pass up tie-dyed. <clears throat> I can't do it. It's not in me. So, this says property of Mid-State Technical College, but I, again, do you want to see how long this, this t-shirt is? This is super, super, super long, and it was only $3.99, so I can wear this over um, a swimming suit if I want, but my main thing was, because it's so long, um, it comes down to about, I'd say like right here on me or so, so at home, this is a great t-shirt to wear to bed. To bed, to bed, I said. Um, and then, like I always talk about wearing these tanks or different things, but having like a shirt over it, uh, especially if I'm going out or something like that. I found another one I'm super happy about. Check the colors. It's just real whatever. Um, it is Passport Plus and a 1X. And a purple tag for one at, um, for one X, a purple tag for $4.99. So it was half off and it's really cute. It's got the pocket on each side. Like I really, really, really love and it comes down long enough and it has the sleeves that you can roll up. So, you know, even in the summer, obviously you can wear these rolled up and it's a t-shirt then, but over the top of like, you know, a white cami or a black cami with some cute shorts or something would still be the bomb.com. So I love, love, love having these shirts. I was super stoked to find this one. And I love that it was a darker, just, you know, nothing bright and pink and whatever. I just really liked that it was this, these tones, because then you can wear blue, black, whatever underneath it. I don't know. I'm not a freaking fashionista, nor will I ever claim to be. But that was a bunch of it. I also found like a bra for Jasmine. Um. We found Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty Kitty, what are you doing over here? This was something I found for Rob. We decided to do a mishmash of everything and anything that we thought he might like. Jasmine and I went and we did like a Goodwill search to find random things. Um, so I found this um, Bear Niece Seaweed from Land's End. He loves his, you know corals and fish and he also loves koala bears so we did find this explorer bear from land's end and it's a cute little koala and look at him you guys oh my god he's so cute he's wearing like a little swimming suit omg he is so dang cute so we did pick that up for rob this was a father's day card that jasmine made for her dad um, we found some random classic music, um, records for him, like Bach and Beethoven, and, um, then we did find the Great Book of Hockey for him. It was a purple tag for six ninety nine, so that one was half off, too. Um, here's his little card. I think that was from Dollar Tree, because he loves his records. Um, so we did get him some of this stuff. I also got, I had some, like, Dollar Tree stuff saved for him. For Father's Day. Um, you guys are like, wow, you're so cheap. But we went out. We had like a really good meal for Father's Day. We went out and ate. Um, I did get him some more of the Olive Garden stuff. <laughs> There's a men's grooming kit in here from Dollar Tree. There's a pack of bunch of these screwdrivers, which hey, these always come in handy. It was like a six pack. I got this um, beard trimming cape, so that's, seriously, Dollar Tree had this. You stick it to whatever, and then, like, you suction it to the mirror, and you shave, and it catches everything. We'll see if he uses it. Um, but then there's also, like, a cutting board and some other random odds and ends in there that were just, like, funny, like, just random things. Um, he also got, like, a power supply that he needed from my son Avery, and I can't even remember where all the other stuff is. Oh, I think it's over here, because of course, you know, I didn't do dishes yet. We also found him at Goodwill, this boot. So it does hold, um, what does it say, like up to three? 
I believe it holds up to three beers in here. So uh, it is glass. And it's really, really cool. Like you have to hold it so that the air pocket stays in there. So it's not like bloop, bloop, bloop every time you try to drink. So we did get him this as well. And Jasmine found him. I don't know where he put that though. Um, Jazzy found him a make root beer at home kit and it comes with everything you need to make and bottle your own root beer so that was another random thing that I know that we ended up getting for him um and I can't remember everything else we got him his favorite drinks we stopped and stocked up on those uh which would be this right here these lime jaritos are his like all-time favorite 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 soda so we got like I think six or seven of those the other day um and yeah actually we gave those to him last night because today's Monday Father's Day was yesterday and get your day straight girl that's what's left he did share though so there are still two left for him but yeah I I I, I let me tell you it was it was a long weekend I'll just leave it at that oh plus his dartboard and some other stuff so I think we did pretty good. I kind of felt like, speaking of, if you look into my living room, there's usually always Bob's Burgers playing. There was an episode of Bob's Burgers. There was um, an episode, as I was saying, of Bob's Burgers. Oh, I thought I just stepped on the cat. Thank God it was not. Anyway, it's like, I think it might be Bob's birthday. And for whatever reason, in Bob's Burgers, they forgot about Bob's birthday because they had so much going on and they ended up like freaking out and at the last minute they went and did like this random birthday stuff for him where they did a lot of the things like he he liked or you know little things like I know they heated up his um boxers and his his jogging pants or maybe it was just his jogging pants and they put them in the dryer for him so that they knew one of his favorite things was getting his jogging pants on when they were fresh out of the dryer because they were nice and warmed and they did all these little tiny random things like a favorite this and his whatever. And they gave him all these little things and they felt so bad. And he was like, they just knew they were all things that he liked. And he was so happy and said, this is honestly the best random little birthday that I've ever had. Because even though it was simple little things, they were all things that meant something to him. So I kept thinking about that in my head, like... I don't know. I just, I, I thought it was really cute. So that's what we ended up doing so that the kids could feel good about giving him some stuff, especially his daughter. Um, Avery did spend like a lot of his own money to get him something for Father's Day this year since he's working this summer. So that was really cool too. And speaking of Avery working, I should probably go make sure he's up and moving. Okay. Sorry guys. I had um, a bunch of stuff I needed to get done. Um, I am going to end this vlog, though, pretty quick. Um, the one last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, because so many of you have been asking me through Instagram and Snapchat and everything, um, if I'm still doing my journaling, my Fobonichis. I know for a while there I went on a total journaling kick, and then I kind of slacked again. Um, so... I'm going to turn this camera around and kind of give you guys a little sneak peek because some of you have been asking and asking and asking and then I do um, intend on making a video for you guys of an actual like flip through. So this isn't going to do like a total flip through. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff um, just to give you a little taste since you've all been asking about it. Um, yeah, what a day you guys. It is definitely a Monday like... It's been a rough Monday at that. Like, can you even tell? I've been bawling. I just got off the phone um, with a family member. So, yeah. Anyways, I digress. Let's let's look through this chunky monkey because she's she's getting pretty big already. Okay, so if you guys re why did, this is sorry Zozo that fall right on your little melon. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys remember. I um, was really not happy with this journal, and I'm still not. Um, it was super, super cheap at Walmart. Um, and it is the pen and gear journal, and it's the 8 by 10 and a half. And there's 336 pages in here, and it's lined. 
but I should have known when it said 336 pages that these pages were so freaking thin. So my 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 love for using these lately, like I've been always, always using these freaking Sharpies. And if we know anything about Sharpies, it's that they love to bleed through the page. Um, so just like in all my other journals, and I have one like, did you just pull my whole book, you little crapper? Um, I have one sitting down here, but like through these, I always double my pages. So whenever, what I mean by that is when I double my pages, I mean... I take two pages together, no matter what my book is, and I put them together with washi tape on the end, which also gives your pages and your books this really pretty, bright, crazy, you know, kind of look, which I just, I'm, I love this look. Sometimes I even add, like, lace and different things you can do, but anyways, I digress. Um, basically, I always put those two pages together, but... These pages were so freaking thin that even putting them together, it was freaking showing up through to the other side. Like, up here, I covered it because this is where I all found out, and I put a big sticker up here, but you can kind of see some of, like, the ghosting right here um, from the other page. And it was from the April, I think it was. Yeah, when I was doing the April, you could see it all through here. So what I ended up having to do is just put some stickers over. That's when I had the realization that, oh my goodness, these are super thin, thin pages. What am I going to do? Because I still want to use my markers. Um, so how I remedied that, because of course, even though I usually never do this, I decided to prep this whole journal. So I went and put washi on all of the pages. Like, I took my two pages and washing them all together and just had it ready for me so I could just go. Sometimes I do, like, a couple pages at a time and then I journal and then I'll wash you a couple more. But this one, I was like, no, I want it all done. So I pre washied all the pages and then realized I'm not going to not use this book now that I just did all of this washi tape on the edges and I'm just going to have to figure something out. So... I can find, like, a current page. Um, what I ended up doing is taking one of these, um, and this is just, like, one of those thick pieces of paper, like, the window clings come on, like, you know, for Easter or Halloween or whatever. And come out of here now, of course, because I don't have my other hand to use here, because I'm holding it. What I did was just cut one of these down, um, it was obviously used, like, well, I shouldn't say obviously, because here's a little, here's a little sticker love. Boop! Right on your head. No? No? You're not liking that? Okay. Anyways, you can see this is what I'm talking about. It's just literally where I peeled off some of the, um, stickers, or window clings, <clears throat> and used them in my journal. And I just cut this down because it was really thick, and I figured, you know what, I don't think it's going to bleed through that and another page. So, I cut it. And made it fit so I have to shimmy it in all these dang pages every time I'm gonna draw on one <clears throat> but so far I've made it work and honestly like doesn't that kind of look cool like it, it seriously kind of looks cool I mean in my opinion it looks cool what else what else anyway that's how I remedied that because that was a huge question y'all were asking me it does still frustrate me that I have to do that, <clears throat> but, you know, all in all, it is what it is. Um, I just refuse to not use this book after I already washied it. So, um, this one did start with April, and I always do my, you know, my, what do you want to call it, calendar page? There we go. Sometimes I put some flip-ins in, like this one I have a picture or something I think I was going to put on the back, but I didn't yet. And then I just kind of go and do whatever I'm feeling at the time. I use a bunch of stickers, wall decals, washi tape. Um, I made this little corner pocket here because this was like Easter and I put some stickers on it and it comes off. You see that this is also very annoying. Um, and then I made this. This little thing pulls out as well and you can pull the carrot out and it says, I don't know what this one says, spring and bloom. Um, and then on the back is where I made, like, there's my son Avery after he found his Easter basket and my daughter after she found hers. Look at that face. Like, talk about resting bee face, right? 
Anyway, um, this is what I was also talking about with the window clings. I love using them in my journals. So that's what I do. Like this one just says Happy Easter. And you can pull it over and still read your page. Do what you got to do. Um, so sometimes I still make little pull-out cards. I use pictures. I'm still, still so in love with my Canon Ivy printer. Like I just, I can't tell you enough. If you are a journaler, highly, highly, highly recommend. I actually have a video on my channel somewhere in like maybe my reviews playlist or things like that. Um, but I have a, like a review of that if you guys want to go check it out. I love, I can print out little memes. I can print out my pictures and I'm just so freaking in love with it. Love, love, love. Um, so, I don't even really know how I want to do a flip through because I don't want to like do too much, but not, an, I don't know. Um, I use cutouts out of old books that I found, um, quotes that I love to use, and it just, you know, I, I kind of just let the day really honestly play out and let me know how I feel. Sometimes I work ahead on pages, like kind of prepping the page a little bit, and then I can just journal around it. Um, and some days it's quite the opposite, you know? Um, I keep cutouts from my kids' things for school. I can tuck them in the little pages that, or folders that these pages make when I put them together. I use lots of Dollar Tree stickers, markers, doodles, you know, washi tape. It's always just kind of my thing. So each page kind of has a different day and it depends on how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and, um... I like to use all kinds of different stuff in my journals and sometimes I'm extra extra creative and sometimes I am just not like sometimes I'm not like <laughs> I don't know how to describe it there are days like my last journal I felt like I was super super creative in it I always wanted to do like a really pretty cool like collaging layouts and just different things and then there are literally days where you just throw some washi in a sticker and you're like I'm done. Um, and that's okay too. I mean, it, it all kind of shows in your books, shows your moods, it shows, you know, what you got going on. Is it a sticker day? Is it a, you know, someone painted my son this. Um, and it was so cute. I had to put it in here. I love froggies. So, um, he said that I could keep it. So I put it in here. I do doodles. You know, I, this is a, a doodle my son actually did and I took it and put it in here and then just did some, you know, coloring around it. It just all seriously depends. Sometimes I do smaller, um, like calendar pages. Sometimes I write an important date. Sometimes I don't. Um, I like making the little flipping, like tippins. Um, this is when I chopped my daughter's hair all off and cut it and then I also dyed it and it was... That was a really fun day that I know she'll never forget. Um, I put in paper, pa uh, important papers and things like that that I keep. This was off of some flowers and the ribbon from some flowers that a friend sent me. Um, I put quotes and different things that I like to print out. This is a picture my son painted. Um, just a really quick like thing and he was like this is so stupid I'm throwing it away and I was like uh no no you're not that forever will be mine so I like putting those in here as well um and you know it just all depends you kind of got to let your faux Benici or your journaling style develop and mine changes so much like it would be really interesting to show you guys all the different ways my journal pages have changed like in the beginning I used to do so many doodles so much drawing um, I would put like the time I would put the time that the Sun rose and the Sun set and I would have temperature for each day um, I would write differently sometimes I do it just it it's so fun to see how much your um, journaling styles can change what you save what you don't save like this is um, the paper that my flowers came in for Mother's Day that my boys gave me. I added stickers and, you know, window clings to it because I just wanted to keep it because it was pretty. I got my cards in here that are important to me. Um, pictures of the things like my kids did for me and my husband did for me for Mother's Day and just stuff like that. And I like to practice a lot of the times on like 
learning to like kind of do like a fake callig calligraphy, I guess. Um, again, this was some of that paper from Flowers. This was the Mother's Day um, card that Jasmine made me, and I just folded that up and stuck that in here as well because, of course, we always want to have that stuff. Um, and then it just kind of all depends. Um, you know, I'll practice my wording or my writing. This is like my natural uh, handwriting. I love to write. I don't write in cursive a lot. Um, so... I don't know why I, that's always been my thing like in high school obviously you had to write in cursive and I still love writing in cursive I just realized I don't really do it I for some reason this is just this is how I do it this is just my handwriting um, I don't know so I know a lot of people ask me about that so honestly I don't like this is kind of sloppy to me because it's like it's just real fast and I'm writing it and everyone's like your handwriting is so neat and sometimes I'm like oh are they like, are they being real or like, <laughs> sometimes I just don't know. Um, over here I did start using like some cutouts from like mail. Like I think this flower power was from an Ipsy bag. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was from an Ipsy bag. I was like, I'm pretty sure I had more. Um, some days I like making a border. Some days I don't. I did get like a magazine that was all about the birds or not birds hummingbirds and like all of this so I did cut a bunch of the pictures out that I like and kind of just doodled around them used some washi added them in various spots made this into um, a little piece of paper that I put all of this on and just made a little flipping and tipping whatever you want to call them you guys um, and then some days are super simple where I just literally stick some random stickers that I have laying around down and they don't pertain to anything. I just like the stickers, so I used them in here. Um, here's some more where I just did some random things out of, you know, a magazine. For whatever reason, my pen or my marker was, like, completely drying out. So I went and, like, used a darker um, over just all of, like, the pronouns and names and things like that. So, you know, different things like that. So that's why that looks a little weird. But I was really into my hummingbirds, as you can see, and there were so many pretty images in that book that I just had to, had to use them. Um, love, love, love this. How cute is this? Uh, I started doing some, like, different little doodles and, like, circle things around the letters because I just like that it feels like it fills the page a little more where this looks really bare. Um, most likely I'll still come in and put, like, probably washi tape up here or something. Um... But I did at this point really start deciding that I really liked using all of the images and collaging different things out of magazines again. These are a bunch of window clings and things like that. So, or not window clings, I'm sorry, that was actually wall decals from Dollar Tree. Most of all these stickers and things you see in here though are from Dollar Tree, honestly I'm not going to lie. Um, this was like the card my husband gave me for our anniversary and I kept that in here. I just like keeping sentimental little things because I'm hopefully always keeping these books. <laughs> Knock on wood, I keep them. And then when I'm dead and gone, my kids do. I know over here is when I found a bunch of random stuff and these were all just random images out of some mail that I had gotten. And I cut out different words and made this little quote, boost your sidekick. And I put this cute little doggy face on this really buff, beastie man here. And he's lifting up this cute little sidekick, I guess. Um, and then I just doodled around it. I don't know, but that kind of kicked off a little thing for me again, like I said, where I was just wanting to um, do a bunch of different stuff. Like, this page, too, this is where my son turns 21, I so I had to, you know, happy 21st, and I left this because I still need to print out some pictures of his cake and a picture of him to put in here, which I'm just slack a lacking and haven't done yet. Um, I started, I got a Glamour magazine, it's actually sitting up here still, and I've been tearing pieces of different pages and stuff out of it and just adding it in, um, so all of these, like, do less, live more, your summer, your way. This is a window or like wall decal from Dollar Tree. And then let's loose. Just different words that I liked. And I decided I really wanted to try and hurry up and 
use this book because like I said, I hate this paper. So instead of doing just like a one day, I was like randomly just putting stuff in that I had. Um, I was feeling really strung out and stressed and I wrote strung out and I was on the phone and this was actually, this was in a piece of notebook paper of my daughter's like composition book and I was just drawing this image of this crazy girl and you know, nothing, you know, not trying to be artistic. I was just literally sitting there and phone doodling, I call it. Um, and then what I like to do sometimes is I do write in cursive and I'll write around an image and I will just keep writing over top of it so that it is not legible because let me tell you, some of this stuff I would not want anyone to be able to read because that's the dang mood that I was in. Um, so since she ended up looking kind of weird, I, I like the weirdness of her. So I ripped this out and I just glued this in with my handy dandy glue stick. And then I saw where it said, speak your truth. And because there's so much truth hidden in these little scribbles, um, I thought that would go perfect on this page. So like I said, there's so many different ways you guys, you can do things. Uh, there's a lady that I've been watching on YouTube and there's this thing going around where a lot of people like to use, um, it's called the one magazine challenge where you just take images out of one magazine and you make something. So all of this is out of that glamour book. And obviously I've made more than just one page. I've like taken images and used them throughout. So um, anyway, like this page, this is just something I doodled while I was sitting here and bored. This is out of the magazine. Um, I live my perfect summer day often was just a cute little quote that I had found in like an Amazon thing I got from the mail. So this page, I decided I was going to cut random squares um, of just different, different images out of the magazine that I liked that had different pops of colors and things like that. And I cut like anywhere from three to five of, you know, the same color and I just different squares and I made a complete collage background with them. And then I went through and I saw this woman and I was like, I need her. I need her to be in my book. So I cut her out and then I kind of built the page up around that because then I found where it said beauty is strength and you can tell she's doing some beauty treatments. She did a little shower, whatever. And then I also found this quote and I'm like, this has to be in there too. So beauty is strength and it says, don't be afraid of who you are. Something we all need to, I think, be a little less afraid of is be, don't be afraid of who you are. Um, go out there, do something. Just do it. Live in the moment is something I'm greatly, greatly trying to stress to myself. So I cut out some more things from there that I really liked. Like being badass doesn't mean she's not loving, funny, and warm. Um, and then I just kind of do my, my stuff. Uh, I found this. It says the bare issue and then your emotions, your skin, your body. Sometimes there's nothing more beautiful or powerful than when you let everything show. So I, I love that. So that had to go in there. Um, this girl was also from this. This was not the heading. I found this off of a different page completely, but I just kind of made it work for me because I had my period and I felt like crap. And I saw this girl and I'm just like, uh, what does life look like during your period? Mm -hmm. This right here. That's what it looks like. Shattered. Man, I don't know if any of you have the same kind of periods I do or go through just so... Ugh. We're not even going to get into that, but yeah, it's usually pretty bad. So again, those are just some images and quotes that I like cut out and put together. Um, I just like using random things. Sometimes I feel like drawing. Sometimes I feel like stickering. <laughs> sometimes I don't feel like doing much and you get a pages, you know, that look like this. Um, sometimes I keep things as simple as the silverware envelope or whatever that our stuff all came in at um Chili's for Father's Day that's where we went and ate actually um I like keeping them and then I write on them and Rob actually wrote me a note for um I got this actually Monday morning um which is today but I decided to cut this out and that would fit perfect in this little thing. I did have the receipt because I was going to keep the receipt for whatever reason to keep in here too, but I don't know what I did with it. And it was a very expensive receipt, so it's probably better that I don't, I don't keep that memory. <laughs> 
but it was Father's Day, so whatever. So anyway, I do keep random weird things, even like this. Like I said, still works really cool. I can put this little note in here from him and keep, and I also can put stickers on this. I have room now on the back that I can put, um, print out a picture of like him and the kids or something, and yeah. So, am I still journaling? Yes. Do I put random things in here still? You betcha. Um, I'm trying super hard to use this up really fast because, like I said, you guys, I really don't like this paper. Um, but that's what she's looking like. And, yeah, I did kind of a flip through. I guess that was basically a flip through. But it was just some of you asking for more ideas about what I use in my journals. So, now that we got 20 minutes into this, um, I'm going to wrap this up, you guys, and to look at this ugly mug for one more minute while I tell you all that I love you very, very, very much. This world is a better place with all of you in it, and regardless of how you're feeling, take a deep breath, center yourself, digress, pull it all in, um, and make sure you're living in the moment. Mwah. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Stay random, guys. Bye.